Hello viewers, in this module we are going to discuss about what are the solutions for 4th question, 5th question and 6th question. So here what is our question is, so A, B, C, D quadrilateral diagram and A, B is parallel to D, C and A, D is parallel to B, C. So here already angle A they are given that is 50 degrees. Then what is the angle B and what is the angle C and what is the angle D we need to find. So here AB and DC are parallel then what you can say is AD and BC are transversal to both the lines then just simply we will extend here what is this angle this angle is nothing but angle A angle A and here angle B both are corresponding angles if AB is transversal, then this angle is 50 degrees. So from linear pair angles, B and D, B and 50 degree are adjacent angles that going to frame linear pair angles. So here angle B will be equal to 180 degrees minus 50, that one will be equal to 130 degrees. Then that is 130 degrees. Then here this is somewhat looking like this is parallelogram. In parallelogram opposite angles will be equal to each other. So angle A and angle C will be equal and angle B and angle D will be equal. Anyway that one we are going to discuss in quadrilateral chapter. But here simply extend like this. Here B and C will be what? Corresponding angles then what is that angle so corresponding angles so b and c will be corresponding angles this one will be equal to 130 degree then angle c is equals to 180 minus 130 that one will be equal to 50 degrees so then angle c will be equal to 50 degrees and angle g will be simply extend like this this one is angle c and angle d here corresponding angle this one is 50 as usual angle D will be 130 degrees. So what you can say finally angle C A is equals to angle C is equals to 50 degrees then angle B angle D is equals to 130 degrees. Like this we need to solve or another method is the in parallelogram opposite angles will be equal to each other. Our next question is is parallel M and L are parallel. So in order to show that here they are given angle 80 degree and angle 100 degrees. So here if you show this corresponding angles angle Q and angle R here angle Q and angle R corresponding angles then you can say if they both are equal then you can say the two lines are parallel to each other. So here from linear pain from linear pain from linear pain angles here 80 degrees plus angle R is equals to 180 degrees then angle R is equals to 180 minus 80 degrees then that one will be equal to 100 degrees so here we got 100 degrees here and uh, this 100 and this 100 both are corresponding angles that two are equal then you can say L and M are parallel to each other or here if you find this angle will be 80 degrees whatever any method you can take and here L and M are parallel to each other L is parallel to M then come to sixth question here same arrow lines what they are given is that two this arrow this arrow same direction for that they are two are parallel to each other and here this middle lines will be act as transversal so here angle A here angle A and 50 degrees will be act as alternate interior angles. This line, this line will be parallel to each other. This line is transversal. Then angle A and angle 50 degree are parallel to each other, uh, alternate interior angles. So angle A, A, B, C, D, E, 50 degree are alternate 
alternate interior angles alternate interior angles if the two lines are parallel then alternate interior angles always will be equal then what you can say is angle a is equals to 50 degrees then angle b is equals to 50 degrees angle c is equals to 50 degrees angle d is equals to 50 degrees angle e is equals to 50 degrees so thanks for watching this video if you want more videos right here on youtube please subscribe and give thumbs up